My name is Sadiq Adams, um, a member of yeah. Convenus. So I'm a member of the Convenus for Safe Ghana Football. And uh, we are not here because Ghana has lost a game. Football is win, draw or lose. But we think that embarrassment is unacceptable. Embarrassment coupled with reckless spending of taxpayers' money. Football has become the passion of the nation for years. There are people, thousands of people who work with us who only like football. But the game is being governed by a few group of people who we think believe that the game belongs to only them. So we wanted to walk to express our grievances, displeasure about the level of rot, the, the, the manner in which football is sinking, the foundations that our forefathers built, why we became the the pace setters in football on the continent, winning African Cup of Nations. So we cannot get to a point where Ghana becomes the laughing stock. You don't touch the, the people of this country and blow the money into people's personal pocket, like we've seen. You take our team to the World Cup. You tell me that after 12 days, one management member should be given 13 billion, hundred thousand dollars. It is not done anywhere. You look at what we, what we went through in Brazil, where money were flown from this country all the way to we were more or less the laughing stock of the world. Everybody laughed at us at the time. We've not learned anything. We need to fix it. And I'm grateful for people like you. We are so honored that Ghanaian are speaking the same language. We will change our football and anybody who stands in our way, may God have mercy on that person. Yes. Look at what is happening. 
So we are calling Ghana government. We are not going to choose that way and the NPD government to investigate because a lot of Ghanaians, they think that it is Nanaku Fadu and his government that has destroyed Ghana football. Meanwhile, we know very well that it is Keto Kregu and his administration that is causing this country. So we should do investigation to find out what is the problem.
They must make sure, not only 127 people, every Ghanaian should know what they get. Every Ghanaian should know what they get with our national team. And yeah, we want a party. We want accountability of our World Cup and Afghan sponsors. Number three, Abai, we want you to dissolve the all the management committee. Yeah. They want the interest of Ghana football. We want Omunya part of football. You can bring your friends to come and take 100,000 and travel free. We don't want management committees for our national teams again. We have proposed what they need to do in the petition. Number four, we want to insist that the committee looking for the next blaster coach, they should disband it now. The chairman of the committee is the man who took hundred thousand dollars. Is the man who went to bring the over. Is the same man who led us to the embarrassment in our Can this person lead to such a problem? By the close of the week, the committee looking for the black house coach is back. Put in place an interim technical team. Analyze what happened in Ivory Coast. What went wrong? Put me for coaches and the catastrophe. You have seen a wood here for four hours. The fight, the fight, the fight. You have seen a wood here for four hours. Muches come out from a player when he gave. Dissolve the coach search committee. Wisdom is speaking. Wisdom is speaking. Ghana Premier League. Abai. If you want to invest in football, let the GFA use their money to pay themselves. No taxpayers' money should be used to pay GFA executives on trip with the national team. Yes, the money should go into coast football. Eight point five million. No, it should go into development of grassroots. Eight point five million. No, it should go into Ghana League protocol as a group. Locally. Women's football. Women's football. Money should go there. My opinion now and just come up with that. I will forget the organization of the women's league. We have a lot contained in this petition. We want to build a national training complex. Obian to me, you do plan. I'm a mom for that hotel. God is scared to so. Now I did. We want a national training complex. Yes, that is the way. Yes, it's the end of the month. Yes, it's the end of The fans say they don't want any third term. No. The Ayaya no hay. Obi and Adi so be for third term. Okay. Yadi no. Yeba ya bruise. Yeba ya bruise. We want complete reforms in football. National team no any friends and cronies. Davida. We are here. Yes. We want to help the minister. It is not your responsibility to approve it. Minister for youth and sports, who did it? It is not your responsibility to the act governance boss. Obi and you only have a better than my budget. We will not agree. The budget should be approved by a board of the National Sports Authority experts. Yes. We want to tell you that all of us here, you have a NS in the Miami Bobble, our Akari and the Supreme. Tobi! Back in the Bobble, Ghana Premier League sponsor. Ghana Premier League winner, Kenya thirty thousand dollars. One management committee, hundred thousand dollars. ACPM, ACPM. We will help them take the Ghana football. The next Afcon, Jay, any of us Ghana team. We will help them take the Ghana football. They are our friends, our brothers, but we say we want to reform Ghana. But today.
the Minister of Defense Force is in the chamber and he's delivering a statement on AFCON. So you are also going to be admitted to the gallery. public gallery and then you will listen, listen to the debate and the flow. So we'll make sure this goes to the speaker and not just present it to the speaker. There are other consequential actions that we're going to take and we'll communicate duly. So let's not belabor the point. But what I want to say is that all of us here are concerned. We are passionate about the happening, not just in football, sports generally, and, and what is uh, is turning out to be. So we are all concerned. Don't take it for granted that we are just receiving, largely with respect, we are not just receiving this petition and then we get it dusty on the shelves. We will do what we have to do as part of the plan. Thank you. So, thank you. Follow us. Come you. They will so, direct so, you to the and uh, Minister, Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports is here. Uh, we are presenting the petition to him. We have already done for the Parliament and we are presenting this officially to him. The motive and the reasons why we walk today with thousands of Ghanaians sure. and uh, the items that we believe have been imputed here will help reshape and bring back the glory days for our football. So, Minister, thank sure, you very sure. much for your time and um, taking this on behalf of Ghana. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 You are welcome to the Ministry of Education. Even though we are receiving the petition here in Parliament, because it is meant for the Minister, you should have received it in the Ministry. That's why I said you are welcome to the Ministry of the premises of the Ministry of Education. So we thank you so much for the peaceful protest that we are back on. Just to make sure that Ghana football is put to the old glory days. So I'm receiving this petition on behalf of the Honorable Minister. Who will have wished to meet you personally to receive it? But he has been engaged in equally important assignment. And I want to assure you that the ministry is going to look into it and then study it critically and then begin to implement the reforms that we have put. If it becomes possible to call upon you to sit together as a key stakeholder in the industry, we shall do that. Thank you so much for today's peaceful protest that you have back. Thank you very much. Oba, oba.